Oh jeez, here we are again. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, I got a donation, but I can't see. Oh, oh I don't. It, come on. Oh, let me see. Oh, Animorph just subscribed. Wow, three months already. So I was trying to give you the usual, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> intro, but apparently that didn't exactly work out right again because for whatever reason. VLC decided to open up full screen rather than windowed, which is where I kind of had things sectioned just the right way. So that's a pain in the butt. Wow, man. Thanks for the three months. You are awesome for being so freaking awesome. I need to do something extra somewhere, somehow. I need to get something figured out for subscribers as a huge thank you. But, you have just witnessed a pretty casual intro to the stream. So, what we're playing today is Secret of Mana, my childhood favorite video game. And what you can do in support of the stream is either just, you know, follow and watch, you know, just be up to date when I'm going to be streaming, or you can subscribe, send bits, or tips. There are three options for subscriptions, Twitch, Game Wisp and Patreon each have their own perks, but they're all linked below as well as referenced here in the stream in the bottom left hand corner. You can find out more about what you get for perks, such as in Game Wisp, you get a Twitter shout out, a Twitch follow, an emoji, and a uh, Discord title as a Wisp buggy, or Patron buggy, or Subscribe buggy. Subscribe buggy is if you are subscribed on Discord. On Discord, you will also get the emoji that is exclusive to my streams and the server that is linked above as well. Because when you also subscribe, you get the emoji and title in the server above the bug hive. The server in which you and I can congregate, hang out, play games together, and do just about almost anything. Just remember to be respectful. That's one of my rules. To just be respectful, be honest, be communicative. Communication is key. <clears throat> so, for a minimum balance on bits, you can send one bit, which is one penny to me, or one dollar minimum for the uh, Streamlabs link, where you can send a direct donation, if it's not a subscription. But, it's all up to you what you want to do, I'm just telling you what you can do and where you can go. Oh, and if you want to send bits, you have to have bought them ahead of time on your desktop or laptop because mobile currently as far as I know does not incorporate purchase of bits yet so if you're on mobile I'm sorry you can't send bits at this time but if you do pop onto a computer just about almost anywhere anywhere that has access you can get bits that way and send them off onto me so yes thank you for arriving and that was the usual intro buggies so buggies I think we can probably get back to, you know, the thing that is Secret of Mana. Or Mana, as some places are calling it now. Especially since the redub or remaster it says Mana instead of Mana. In my experience and knowledge, it's pronounced Mana, not Mana. But that's just semantics. You probably just want me to play a game, I think, at this point, right? Yeah, I should probably do that. So give me just a moment that we are going to play this game today. Because we are very well prepared and ready to cause some havoc. So give me just a moment. Oh, that's the message you sent. Thanks for using Twitch Prime for your subscription. But I didn't realize I could do you can do three months in a row now. I guess that just depends on if you actually are a Prime member fully for whatever length of time you are. Like, I think it's a year. It's a year, a month, and those are your two options. But anyways, let me get right down to the game section that you came to watch. Come on, work with me. And if you do send bits, 
they will all fly right over here and fall into the glass below where the sprite bug is. So beneath the jester sprites, you will get your bits or emojis right down there in the glass. Also, with you being right down here where those dashed lines are, your name and message will go there. So, like, you say, too spoopy, too spoopy, too spoopy, it's gonna say, too spoopy, too spoopy, too spoopy. Now, hold on, computer. We need to make this thing a work here. Excuse you? Hmm. I am trying to get this to work. Work with me, you crazy thing. Ooh. Ooh, this is really grilling my cheese. Ooh. Well, I gotta do the display capture again. Oh. I didn't know that Twitch had a hold for their ads for bits. Ooh. That's something else I look forward to at some point, is when ads play on the channel. Though you guys may not be a fan of it, it helps support me being able to do this and I want to make this more of a full-time thing compared to a part-time thing sharing games and playing together that's that's the life man it's like you just gotta have some fun man and our life's all about having fun at least that's how I want to see life a little bit so anyways let's try to make this work come on display capture there you go there you go, you got it. Now let's see if you do it like this. Do you like this? Hey, there it is. Oh, thanks for the heads up, Zerain. And is this pronounced Zerain or Zerain? Zerain? I can look at your name like three different phonetic ways, so I'm kind of curious on what to actually uh, call you. Or pronounce for your name. So. Oh, yeah, there's that old sound effect. I think the game's a little bit quiet. Let's see, let me look at the levels. Um. It's not too bad, it's not too low, I think. You guys can still hear the game and hear me just fine. I always do a sound check because I always want to be sure. I see the bars of uh, volume on OBS where it says everything, but I never quite fully know how you guys are hearing things because I have like a volume for my volume. The microphone I use has a volume uh, dial on it so that I could turn the system's volume up to full and still have this adjusted for whenever I like just to have a minor tweak, you know. So it isn't that instant jump to too loud or instant jump to too quiet. Since I'm a nerd like that and I like my sound very... Zerarin. Zerarin. Okay, that's pretty cool. Zerarin. Got it. Zerarin, Zerarin, Zerarin. So, welcome to Secrets of Mana! Eh, Scarf, you're in the way. Mana. Yeah. Alright, let's hope my game file is still there. Hey! It is! Here we are! Yay! Um... Yeah. Was that the one I did? I believe that's my file. Yeah, because I remember the second file I did because... I did the second file because I wanted to play ahead, you know, because I love this game so friggin' much. What? OBS, why are you lagging this game slightly? Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah! Let's actually drop the first star. Zarin? Zarin? I think Zarin and... Let's just hope that's the right one. <laughs> Now, as you guys may not fully recall, King Travel here told us to go seek out Sage Jock, or Jacques, to further our journey. You're taking fine care of Flamey. 
So some of you might not remember that, but I'm a nerd enough on this game, I kind of can tell where I'm at just almost anywhere. Since, you know, you play a game so many times that it's still fun and you can still remember, remember things, but you can still find enjoyment in it. I find it good when you can play games over and over and still get enjoyment out of it. So, flamey drum away! Oh, and I should probably add that this game, this emulator, has a mod on it that is done by Fusoya, which is a more accurate translation of Secret of Mana's Japanese script to American script, so there's some extra sentences and things to be heard. Whoops, wrong way. So, the lofty mountains were, let's see, he said southwest back then? Yep, Southwest. This is a good song, though. But then again, just about all the songs in this game are good. They're just fun, man. Alright, I'm just l looking in the chat and listening to music because I like this song. I'm way off, who cares? <laughs> Ah, let me land. Eh. Wait, here's the best part. I'm sorry, I love the music. There we are. Now we're in this place. Go down the mountain a bit, and you'll see a cave where monsters are dwelling. But it's really the Palace of Darkness. So, this place, I believe, is Mandala. Welcome to the Lofty Mountains! This is Mandala! Yep. The mana tree grows in the Pure Land. It is watching over us. So that's where it's sure the tree is. Hey, look at everyone, it's one of those conehead people! No, I'm really a monk. People from all over the world come to visit our ancient temple and study past civilizations. Yeah, conehead. Yeah, they're referencing the movie, I'm pretty sure, in this. So yeah, there's your little dose of 90s. On top of being 90s. Yeah. Gotta learn all about those dudes and dudettes. Monsters now roam along the path to the mountain peak. I hope Sage Jacques is okay. Sage Jacques is okay. Jacques. Uh, yeah, you're the one that said the intro. Let's see what these people have to say. Oh, what? How you doing? Yes, the sun climb, huh? You know, I'm probably way off on how I did these voices before, but eh, it's okay. Uh, just to make sure. Nope, no new orbs. Jack and his disciple Jack can live on the peak. Enjoy our lovely town. I will, because you know exploration is key in this game. So let's go. Nope, not to the end. Mana sustains the cosmos. But it's not infinite. People no longer cherish life. So mana's fading away. Yeah, one of the things that kind of... I know, I wanted to kind of say better sweet with this game. This game is... Kind of a better sweet game in general because... While it's a modern fantasy... Not everything goes to the favor of the heroes. Now, since it's been a while, I need to check my equipment. Oh, tiger cap and tiger suit. Oh, boy. Let's buy some new armor. Buying. But I'm not selling. Ha <laughs> ha. One. And a two. One. Two. And a three. And another one. Another two. Another three. Okay, 
Oh, let's just make sure I need to have all those I need. Okay, well, good on that. Good on that. Now, let me just double check these costs. 11500 Okay. A little light expensive for my taste, but okay. You know, I could have just sold that armor underneath myself. So, let me just do that. Take one from Randy. Take one from Popoy. Take that. And that. And the bikini. And these frosty rings shall also be sold to the highest bidder who is currently this shopkeeper. But the shopkeeper, he just dances away because he is happy all day. He's got energy for days. Energy for weeks. Energy forever. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting powerful. Oh, well, yeah, I can't do that. I can do this. Alright, let's do the thing. That is protecting ourselves. Because without protection, you're screwed. And you don't always want to be screwed. Legally speaking. But I'm not going to go down that dark path for too long. Because we got a place to explore. You want to learn more about the history? Here we go. Here's the history. The Sage Jog lives high atop the mountain, not at this temple. This temple dates back to a time even before the Mana Fortress War. The orbs inside store data from that period, which we study extensively. The engines called the device is something like video, I think. Gee, I wonder what that is. Yeah, apparently this is a future. That girl always brings flowers and talks about clouds. She's such a sweet young dear. I talked to you two dudes. Anyone up here? No. Alright. Are you the flower girl? It seems like whenever I see a flower, I dream of a knight to come and take me away. Then we fly through the clouds or... Is Knight's name Cloud? I can't remember! Om, om, om. But I thought those were candy flower shoes was selling. Oh, my stomach. Oh, oh. Yeah, man. I think you don't you shouldn't eat the flowers on these mountains. Okay, I already heard you talk to you, dude. Excuse me. Don't bug me while I'm thinking. Well, gee, sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were so sensitive about it. It kind of looks like one of the ruins, doesn't it? Anything to see on either side? Oh, there's a door. Hey, look, my weapons are out for whatever reason. And... Sage Jacques will not see you unless you show him your ability and will to overcome yourself. I'll take your word for it. I mean, this game is about talking sometimes. Other times it's about fighting. Fighting the good fight. And I forgot to hit start recording on my OBS. Oh, well, I can just download the video after the fact. Alright, I was supposed to tell you about the stinking history. God dang it. Evening news. At dawn, Lorima launched missiles at the Empire, which had threatened to take Lorima's capital by nightfall. Actually, this does the sound effects for me. Who was Abe Lincoln? Correct! That makes you our new champion! Hey, it's Jeopardy! But don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, I just don't think you'd understand. Achy breaky heart, okay. There! You 
you can see the Mana Beast! Just moments ago, it hit the Mana Fortress! Oh no, it's coming right this way! Ladies and gentlemen, we're going off the air! Foreshadowing? Who knows? We absolutely must restrict and conserve the use of mana energy! What utter nonsense! But we're using it up! Ha! You can't use up mana! Arg, you don't understand! Oh. It's almost like history repeats itself. This one's broken! Whoa! Exploded! Yeah, those last two ones are duds. Sorry about that. Now, let's get to Sage Jacques. Jacques. Sage Jacques. Ugh. That's a small tongue twister in itself. Sage Jacques. Sage Jacques. Words? What are words? I don't know. Whatever the words are! I don't know if we'll need to worry about them now. Oh yeah, and I hate these flowers, these trap flowers, because they always cast sleep. Hey, it didn't get me knocked out for once. What are you, a bombie? Get a bombie and a trap flower. Don't worry, we're gonna be fine, unless I get knocked out again. Why? Damn! Now, while we could go into the Palace of Darkness, that would skip a part of Sage Jacques' dialogue. Or whomever we speak to. Whomever we speak to, you know, they'll tell us what to do, what's going on. Hey, that didn't work? How dare ya. You? You're kinda stuck there, Bumby. Well, you gotta love when a glitch works in your favor. Hey! It's a chest. Medical herb won't fit? Well, why not? Oh, because we only have a limit of four per item. Am I knocked out for once? Oh my god, I'm on a record! Yeah. Now, we could go in, like I said, to that little place, the Palace of Darkness. But again, dialogue. Dialogue counts. And besides, the reaction is appropriate when you actually get to the sage. Ah, itchy shoulder. Ah, why? Hey! Level up! It's always good to level up. Bada boom, bada bing, a bada bang. Oh, yeah. Knocked out for good. Yay. It's a cockatrice. I think it's a cockatrice. Eggatrice. Floofy feathers. They die, and they become feathers. Anytime you kill them, that flower becomes water. I don't know if these are just cartoony or just secretly morbid. But it's just it's, it's a part of the game. It's nothing that's too crazy. Let me hit you. There it is. Was there a chest? No. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Alright. Time to go over. Away we go. And I'll be playing Popoy a little bit, because now we have a nice amount of whip area coming up. Whip travel, that is. Where well, you gotta stand in the specific spot, and you hop over. 
like that. It's good when you get farther with a whip. Who want to thunk? Yeah. Level two? Well, I should probably do something about that. Boom shakalaka. Apparently our armor does us a favor. Now, Neko or Nico, I forgot the pronunciation, should show up. Ah, there he is. I love me mountain climbing. Need anything? I'll even save your game. Let's see. Yeah, I need something. Hold on. Hold on to your britches. Okay, I already got those items. I just had to make sure that Nico didn't have any uh, further armor than what we got in the village. Because I forgot. That also happens with games that even though they're favorites, you don't play them in a long time. You kind of forget some details that you just need to refresh and confirm. All right, let's go up. Let's go to the cave. All right. More good music. It's Jack. Go away, the sage is out. Darn, do you know where he might have went? Sage Jack has gone to the palace of darkness. You saw it on the way up here. I think he means that old cave close to the village. Guess I'll have to backtrack. Oh, the song is good. I wonder how it'll sound in the uh, remake. I make a bird voice for him because it looks like a bird, unless he's like some kind of gator. Oh, there's teeth. I can make him sound like this. No, let's just take the short route. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, there we are. What is your name? Um, fierce head and a grave bat. Booyah. I need to upgrade your level a little bit. Your laser is no good. <laughs> and you are... A Dark Knight. They're Batman. Alright, there we go. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna smack you around a little bit because we need to get through here well, one way. Oh, another. What's on the right? Oh. Yeah, get that Dark Ninja. Everything is darkness in here. Without a shadow of a doubt. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's knock these out. Well, that hurt only a little bit. Oh. Oh, crap. Dancing with fire. Dancing with fire. Ooh, stop dodging me, you SOB! What's back here? Nothing. Not even a button. Although there is that one switch we did just see. Ouch! Damn. 
Ah! Holy fudge! Let's make this work. Oi! Switch him back so we can survive. Good lord. Why did this have to be a thing? Come on, buddy. Ah, oh. how dar. Ooh, level five. That is good. Yeah, she's got the X. The X of power. Well, I just set up something. Let's get traveling. Oh yeah, I made it over here. Whoopsie do. Hey, the middle door's open. Now this palace is a little bit windy, as you may have noticed. Gotcha! Right in the butt of your head. Cause you're a butthead. <laughs> I'm mature. <laughs> hey! Boom shakalaka. Hey, how dare you dodge? How dare? There it is. Gotcha, butt. I kicked your butt. You can't do anything about it when I kicked your butt. What the? What the frick was that? It was like diddle 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 diddle, and just you just you just vibrated in this just vibrated in place. What the if was that about? Is that a dead end? That's dead end. Uh, let's go uh, this way. Oh, just there's two of you. Jeez. Excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> Anything I can do from here? Hey! It's an imp! Let us hit you, jeez! Oh, good lord! What's back here first? Fierce heads! Why is it always gonna be fierce heads? Ooh, that's gotta sting a little bit. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Let's open the chest. I'll kick your butt. I'm super tiny, but I'll kick your butt. Boom, shakalaka. Boom. Hey, spear level three. I need to get back to normal. Hmm. Hmm. Frick. I'll do it. I forgot there's a couple of key items I need to get that can be found. Oh, shit. Jeez. Luck is just plain low around here. 
There are two key items that, el that are infinitely helpful with a couple of status, con status conditions. But I'll get to that after we beat the uh, Palace of Darkness. Hey, there it is. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's kind of just speed through a little bit. Uh, I know what to do. I just want to get through this a little quickly. Ugh. Come on. Let's get a move on. Oh boy, come on. Let's go. Let's scootaloo. There we go. Batman has been vanquished. Yeah, I need to do this. Anything over here of interest? Oh, no, I was already over there. But first, we must go through those other doors. What's through door number two? Oh! It looks like a chest, which may contain... Gloves Orb! Yay exploration for getting you those special things that you might have missed. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Good night and goodbye. Okay, that was all we needed for there. So let us go this way over here. Mm, yes, mm, good, mm, quite, mm, did, mm, yes, oh my, mm, yes. Get out of my way. Oh. What are you caught on? Oh, jeez, caught on the spikes. Perfect. I'm cutting you dudes up. What you gonna do about it? There we are. Hey! Get you... Adjusted. Hey, there we go. We're knocking out our embermen. Arg. Oh, so rude. Okay. What's in here? A fairy wall that won't fit. Oh, not fair. The dark pathways. Let's go. Uh, God dang sprite alignment. Oh, take that. Stop dodging. There, now you're dead. You're dead and good. Good and dead. I had it right one way or another. I kind of had it. Sort of. There we are. And we're off 
Tanuk, what are you doing floating like that? Oh, jeez. Yeah, you better be confused, Batman. Because your franchise in the cinema universe is kind of... Ugh. You know, you would think there'd be something here. Now let's go over the dark pathway. Nothing over here either. Emberman's confused. You better be. That was easy. Uh oh, boss time. I, Shade, shall test you. Let's analyze. Oh. But what does he fear? Salamando. Ah, let me heal. Good lord. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, let's see about getting Salamando out here. Yeah, good idea to level up your magic. Well, I'm stuck. Let's keep fighting. Here we go again. It's shrinking. Yeah, we'll get through it eventually. What can you do? Let's do this. Well, we can do it on both fronts, why not? Hey, I'm free! Oh, jeez. I think we're almost done with this dude. Almost. Ah, jeez. I don't think it can shrink anymore. God dang your dark force. Oh, jeez. I need some healing. Well, that was a good start. Oh, jeez. Come on, let's finish this dude off. Oh, well, I killed him. Okay. Well, that was fun. Oh, and also, I forgot to say, this was a follower who uh, followed a day after a stream. Thank you for following Ryujin Saishi88. Way to go! What orb did I get? Javelins. I am the Spirit of Darkness and one of them Elementals of Mana. Few have defeated my Dark Servants. Take my powers as your reward. Gain Shade's powers. Gotta do the Seed of Darkness. Darkness is best element. Received Seed's powers. Popoy! Come on, buddy. Yep. 
Now we could go up that uh, mountain again. Or I could get those two special items that I was talking about real quick. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So southwest was where it was, so I want to go northeast. Uh, sort of. Um... I think I know where I am. I wanted to go to Upperland. Let's just scoot along down here. Okay, we're a little bit... We're in deep a little. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. What can you possibly give me that I don't have? Oh, medical herb. No. Okay, you're okay. Um. I went this way, so let's go this way. Hey, I know where I'm going. Oh, crud holy. Was it up this way? Oh no, that's to winter. Drive by crab! Who? Oh. I leveled up! Let's go to the summer section of this world. Got you. Knocked out! Oh, Watts, I need you for a moment. Okay, which one's ready? Well, we got this glove here. And this, uh, javelin. Which becomes an imp's fork and hyper fist. Well, that doesn't sound... Well, it does sound a little epic, I guess. Well, there's supposed to be something to find here. I could have sworn I was supposed to get something here. Hmm. Uh, you? I guess not. I thought I was supposed to get them Moogle Belt here. Eh. I might need to look that up again. God dang it. Let's try the other way. Oh, wait, unless the Moogle Belt. Oh, I think I remember. I know what I did wrong. That was in the wrong area for the uh, Moogle Belt. But, I will get a particular item called the Midge Mallet, and you will see why it's called that in a moment. Oh, damn, that's gotta hurt. Let's go on down. Let's go right on down to this other land.
Now you might not have known this, but this game kind of makes you re-explore areas on purpose. You're safe! Somehow you seem older. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Take this mallet with you. That's what we used in the show. That is the midge mallet. That's what made the pigmization pigmium pigmization work. So anytime I'm shrunk, I can use that for free and infinitely heal that effect. Yeah, done great. Now let's go back to Kekara. Or Kekara. Yeah, it's a lot of hopping around, but we're getting stuff solved. We're having some fun. All right, lofty mountains. Um, Kakara, Kakara, where are you? Here we go. Now, did I solve the issue here? Oh no! Here we go. Now, let's see who says it. A sea hare's tail. Remember that? We had to go look for a sea hare's tail. But where do we find that? That's on a small island nearby. So, we are gonna fly over there. Well, there's the pure land. Is it over west? Uh, hey, there it is. This is a very small village. Nothing ever happens here. Arg. Someone doesn't like it. This here is island. This here island really a one of gigantic total shell. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. It doesn't mean anything as long as there's love. Some adults just don't get it. We're married. We had to move here because the, the silly age laws in Pandora. Oh, great. Underage marriage. That always works out. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't work out. Hello, it's not very often that we get visitors way out here. How'd you get here? This island's pretty remote, you know. Hey, strangers, I've never seen them before. Who are they? Well, we are the Mana Team. The Mana Team here to save the world. Did I already go in here? No, I didn't. I'd rather be poor and alive then. I was born in the Empire, but the Emperor's gone nuts, so I escaped here with my family. A lot of apples, well, look like apples. Big hut, tiny area. I'm not making it here. There's nothing in this blasted aisle except these sea hair tails. Hey, you actually want one? Got Sears tail. Uh, yeah. I'll keep it in my pocket for the time being. So, let's go back to Kakara. And, oop, oh, clipping on the uh, drum there. <laughs> Alright, let's go south. Oh, wait a second. I'm not in the right area, am I? Not quite. Where are you, Kakara? Kakarot? There we go. We got it. Whoa, what's that you're holding there? King Amar, take a look at this. Is it really? 
Yes, it is! It's a sea hare's tail! We're saved! They got glorious water. Water, water! I had almost given up hope. Thank you, Sir Knight. In return, let me give you this belt. The Moogle belt. For if we ever get, for if we ever get turned into a Moogle again. No need for the medical herb there. Can't drink another drop. Yeah, good luck with the Empire. It's water! Yeah, it is. I need to replenish a little bit of my inventory. Yep, there we go. And anything here needed? Uh, do we need that? No. Wait, do we need that? No! We are good in the hood. So, something to note is that shade is only usable by Popoy. It's a pain in the butt, I know, but that's just the way it goes. Now, I think we have just about one of every item, or all the items needed. Yep, I think we're good. And now let's get back to Mandala. Mandala! Yeah, let's get a top-down view. And I'm gonna drop into the village so I can save the game real quick. To the inn! Well, let me just check the items. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Now let's just get some rest. Cause I think we need it. Yeah, look at all that GP. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're past that level now. Okie dokie. Let's continue our way upstairs. All right. Oops, wrong way. You know what? I need to check those weapons and see how powerful they are. 77? 77? What is madness? What is this madness? Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Let's change it up a little bit. I'll take that javelin. Oh, level up. Kick some butt. Oh, nice try. Yeah, these are weapons we don't use that much. Gotcha. You'll never knock me out, never. Good luck, buddy. You cannot beat the modern item, yes. <laughs> All right. You know, I forgot to uh, repost the stream in another chat, so let me just quickly do that. Whoopsie do. Give me a sec. Um... All right. Give me a sec.
Uh, I'm not doing it right. Why am I having so many problems today? I do not know. I have no idea why things are so silly. Um. Hold on. All right, let's get back into it. Oh no, wait. I can't do the thing yet. Oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh. Ay. Ay. Why does it have to be so crazy? Oh my good lord. All right, let's get back to that game. Now that I got everything back up and running. Wait for that glitch. There it is. Alrighty. So far, I want to thank you all for watching the stream for the past hour. And this is a casual reminder. You have three options for subscriptions with different perks. Or two options for donations. Donations can be either Streamlabs for a minimum of one dollar, or Bits for a minimum of one bit or a penny. Otherwise, you can subscribe through Twitch to get the emoji here and on the Discord. And that also applies to any other subscriptions. You also get access to the emoji on the Discord channel, and you also get the status of being a subscriber on all three types. But if it's Twitch, you get the emoji access here, too. But, as far as the cut goes between subscriptions, I get the maximum out of, uh, Patreon, but your cheapest option is, as far as I can tell, using Twitch Prime, and if you choose to give me a subscription for your Twitch Prime, so, all depending on how your Prime works, you can give me a subscription that way. And I get half of your subscription tier. So if it's $24.99 with $25, I get twelve fifty. If it's ten dollars, I get five dollars. If it's five dollars, I get two fifty. So that's how the breakdown goes. But again, it's all up to you and what you want to do. And you are not obligated to do anything I say. You are given the free will, opportunity, and choice to make your decisions. Oh nope, don't want to do that. I brought up the windows overlay. I don't want to do that. So, let's find out where to go next with Sage Jack. Sage Jack. Who is in charge for Sage Jack? Watch this. Whoops. A little bit of an exploit. So. Or two. Oh, for Pete's sake, Prim. Get up here. Oh, you're really killing me, man. Go away! The sage is out! You don't say. Where is he going off to? Sage Jock has looked for the Empire's Gold City. It's on an island northeast of here. Okay, time to call Flamey again. Now, this is the part of the game where you're essentially skipping around from palace to palace, and then you get to the end game. This is where a lot of the story just kind of drops off, because you just essentially just go palace hopping for this half of the game. So, we have to go to the Gold City, and I have to ask around about certain progression. So you'll be seeing what I mean momentarily. Northeast, right? That doesn't look very gold. Oh, we got... Yeah, flashing... You got the, the golden town here. Oh yeah, this is the Empire, too. 
It's too expensive to live here. The overabundance of gold has created hyperinflation. The local economy is ruined. This is the Empire's gold city. Where could King Manmon have possibly found all this gold? Well, there's the mystery. A cafe? Welcome! Oh, what am I saying? Running a business here is almost pointless now. Gold is so common, it's worthless! Alright. I'm just nearly all my friends have moved to the resort way up north, and I'm stuck here. Yeah, that resort kind of fell through thanks to the Scorpion army. But who can say it won't happen again? I mean, I'm pretty sure the Scorpion army is pretty adamant on being strong. Hey, now you actually look like you have a shop here. <laughs> no one was using this place, so... Okay, which one's ready? Well, none at the moment. Thank you. We should probably also upgrade our armor while we're here. The whole island has been turned into gold! Roads, trees, grass, houses, even the garbage cans! The island is sinking under the weight of the, of the gold! At this rate, we'll be joining Atlantis! Many people have already left and gone north to some paradise in the ice country! Yeah, about that. Uh, that's not a thing anymore. Uh, is this the end? That's the end. This is the residence of King Manmon. The first floor is also a hotel for travelers. Now I'm trying to look for a certain NPC that tells a little bit about... Well, I'll just show you. The door is locked! Yeah, the door is locked because of a particular reason. But, uh, you know what? Fine, I'll just go up here. Yeah, you... okay. You already said that. Time to go running! Alright. Off we go! Alright, almost there. King Manmon sealed out the Light Palace right over there at the northern edge of town. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnika. I think I know who that is. And I think you might too. Although we later caught him in South Town. But the key was never recovered, so he was executed. Oh. Well, that's nice. What's in that tower, anyway? So, we gotta go back to South Town and talk to our green apparel wearing friend, a certain Tasnikan spy, the wife, who I can't remember the name of at this moment. But before that, we need to get some new armor. Right down there. Alright, I have the doom trap thing that happened. Ah. Uh, uh, can you cover me? Oh, yeah, our magic level is five, so we have to kind of grind our magic up a bit. But I'll do the grinding in between the streams so you don't have to sit here too long and see the same thing repeatedly. So, yay, there is grinding for the magic and the weapons. Oh. Uh, yeah, those are the more expensive ones. Lizuri. One, two, three. 
Okay, that's expensive. 56, 25, 11, 75. Yep. Yeah. Gotta get this partially at least. Damn. 21,000. Well, we all need a battle suit. Oh, damn. All right, let's make this work. This is gonna go great. Yeah, let's get you, Popoy. Yeah, you need to get a... You need more protection than the rest of us. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, don't want to do that. Yeah, let's get that battle suit. And there we go again. Yep, yeah, there it is. Well, I need to get myself re-equipped real quick. Thirty-five. There we are. Hundred and thirty-nine. Damn. I just need one more battle suit. I'm sure we'll get some more. Uh, GP with more enemies we beat. I mean, that's typically how this works. Right, let's go over to Southtown and find our Tasnikan spy friend. And then we'll proceed into the Gold Palace. Alright. Northtown, Southtown. Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've looked up these towns. That's Pandora. Where are you? Um... Let's see. Oh god. The color's messed up. Holy crap. Well, that looks nice. Um. You know what? I'll just use Kakara's. Uh route. Oh look, it's this random thing that's just here. Well, this is something, but it's actually nothing. So this area in particular, this tower, serves little to no use because, for whatever reason, cut content. So this is one of those cut content places. I'm Picard, caretaker of this lighthouse. To the northeast is a coral reef. Under it lies a sunken continent. The minor palace is really a switch that will refloat the continent. The power of the ancients must have been incredible. Let me just shake this drum under your butt. So, let's get on over to the Empire. Hmm. I am a little bit lost and it's annoying me. Let me just land here safely. 
Give me a moment. We must make our way through. Excuse me. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll keep a low profile, cannon man. I say you will not be safe if you are making a lot of noise over there. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, other island, that was it. Okay. And we're okay. And let's walk around. You there. Mara, that's her name. My husband was caught stealing a secret key on the Golden Isle. Look, here it is. Oh, wait, whoa, wrong voice. Look, here it is. I found it hidden in his things. If it were possible, I'd gladly exchange it to have him back. I I know what you mean, Dialog. Well, here. It's yours. I'll get my revenge on the Empire somehow. And we got it. We got the gold tower key. And she still has that box. Let's go back to the Golden Isle. We'll make our way through. Sorry, I thought I heard a jingle jangle. I think a cat might be inside the room with me. Um, yeah, this was a bit of an island. Let's go to the other island. Oh, here's that sunken continent. You can kind of see something. Spooky, isn't it? Let's land. There we are. This. This place. Oh, can't move! Something's pushing us back! What could it be? I wonder. Hmm. We will find out. One way, one day. So, buggies, how are you doing? I hope you're chilling in this Monday night and having a good time. Monday through Wednesday are my days off, so I try to make the most of it and do this when I can. Ah, uh, where is that golden isle? Are you there? Nope, you're not it. Nope, that's not it. Need to find where it- oh, there we go. Got it! Yeah, itchy nose. Let's go! Oh, how is Odyssey? I keep hearing a lot of hype about it, so I'm not sure if the hype has been met. What are these dogs called again? Let's see. Beast Zombie. He doesn't look very look my much like a zombie. Let me guess, an orb? Yep, Spears Orb. That's something else to note about this area in the game itself. In this part of the game, you're going from palace to palace to palace to palace, and you're getting a bunch of orbs just thrown at you in between, because yay for about 40% of the story content being cut. Whip reaches level four. 
Let me help you with that. And let's get the spear upgraded real quick so we can probably get Popoy upgraded. Excuse me, sir. There we go. What's old buddy? Let me see about getting a weapon upgraded. Oh, good thing I have enough. Oceanid Spear. Is that good for you there, Popoy? Oh, it is? What are the effects? Whoops, wrong one. Puts enemies to sleep. Ooh, very good, very good, very, very, very good. Okay. Um, 68, 68, 67, 65, 68, 68. So, I can give her some distance again. And I think I'll stick with the javelin for a little bit. Yeah, because Excalibur is not quite cutting it right now. Well, that's good to hear, Strike. Happy to hear. Um, I feel like I should save real quick, just in case. And you know what? Let's kind of get a little bit more story for what little there is in this area. Um... We came to see if Manmon could give us some gold. What matters in life is... Gold! It's all about the gold. It's all about the greed. Ha! This is the world's richest place! Not even the Ember himself can be this rich! Gold! Gold! It's all mine! Oh! <laughs> what a greedy bugger. An alchemist like me can turn rocks into gold using the power of mana. Now that is a spell I'd love to learn. Show me! How do you do it? Ha <laughs> ha! But first you'd have to learn alchemy. That would take years of study. Oh, never mind then. Yay dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, that was what they had to do with Secret of Mana when uh, they cut off the CD add-on. But this game is still a favorite, even if incomplete. All right, let's proceed. Oh, that's great. Haha. -ha! Oh. Aha. -ha -ha! I've got you. Spacing out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's get her to level two. And get a boat boy. Oh, what a level five. Oh! Boom! Shaka! Laga! Yo got slapped with a balloon! Cause you are spacing out and you can't do anything while we kick your butt and boom, you're dead. Hey, it's that I guy again. What's your name? Oh, whoops, wrong screen, wrong screen! Wizard Eye. Oh, jeez. Haha. Uh -huh. I made a glowy balloon. Ha 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 You cannot beat me, I am the Juggernaut! So, something I did want to mention is that YouTube has hit me with a little bit of demonetization for a couple of videos considering I was playing a couple of horror games. 
So since it's not suitable for all audiences and is only suitable for mature audiences, little to no ads will be playing on those videos. So Twitch here is more or less my most beneficial site. And YouTube, they just keep pulling stuff that makes it even harder to be a content creator. Unless you're already popular, because if you're a small guy like me, you're not getting much help with the algorithms that are put in place right now. I mean, what I'm trying to do is just put up my streams and everything, but then again, I'm not even sure if YouTube is even spraying things around like they should. Oh, right, gotta analyze. Oh god. Uh, oh great. Let's use some magic. Well, no, I uh, can't use shade. He's low level right now. Ah, I missed. One. Oh, that's great. How about this? I did something. Kind of. Oh, that's gotta hurt a little bit. Come on. Right over him. I'm gonna get you. Uh, this may take a little bit. Well, that didn't work. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, not very much. Let's heal up a bit. Acid bubbles. That didn't do anything. There we go. Ah, you and your acid bubbles. I'm doing decent. Kinda. I mean, as far as I know with YouTube, people have to be watching videos consistently from a creator in order for that creator to be uh, constantly suggested or kept in the list of things. Because if videos are not being consistently watched video after video, it takes you out of the running, pretty much. So I have to make another channel for fandom videos rather than using my own channel like I would have intended to do everything. Since my channel is meant to be a variety channel, but you're kind of screwed if you're trying to do variety. I mean, that's what I want to do. I want to bring a whole lot of content. But if not everyone is going to be interested in everything, which I don't think everyone can be interested in every single thing, that unfortunately would work against me. So I would have to just try and figure out a way to make a specific single genre type of channel. Let me just do this thing here. That didn't work. Uh, healing time. Oh, perfect timing. Come on, let me get you. Oh. How about you wait until he's down here? Let's see where he's at. Eleven eighty one. Uh, I gotta get the sword. 
Oh, crap. Oh, well, that's nice. Where are ya? Where are ya? Get down here so I can fight ya! What the F? Oh, damn. That's good. Ish. No. Let me get some healing. Hey, there we go. Ah, you stole my hit. It's a fake out. His head regrew. I want to see how that works in the new version. Crapoli. Damn it. Let me get that level five. There it is. I keep getting in the way of fire. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Hey, there it is. Well, there goes boss number one. Way to go. Got a boomerang's orb. To the next zone. And would you know it, another orb. Holy crap. Ah, oh, where was I? Where's my javelin? There it is. Spacing out in the job, are you? You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, this is good for crowd control. Well, that was fast. A Minotaur. That didn't resolve color. Well. Accidentally glitched a Minotaur. Oh, shizzle bizzle. Um, let's see. Any weakness? Sulfid. Yeah, I can do that. The colors are incorrect. We glitched. There we are. 
Hit him again! And here we go. What was this one's name? Gorgon Bull. Yeah, well, he doesn't look too good right now. One more should do it. Or not. Let's get some healing. Oh, shoot. Please tell me I lived. Oh my god, that was lucky. Oh, we're safe. So, as I was saying about video stuff, if it really comes down to it, I'll possibly end up siding with Twitch because Twitch is actually more friendly with sharing a community and I need to start being more interactive with the community other than people being interactive with me. But seriously, I need to uh, see what I can do with uh, Twitch more than YouTube because, I don't know, Twitch has a lot more options to help support being a gaming dude. Ah, Lumina. Right. My name is Lumina, a mana item elemental. The king was robbing me of my power. He was forcing me to make gold. My power should not be used for, by anyone but you. Take my powers before evil engulfs us all. Now, Lumina is light and specific to Prim being used. To Prim using uh, Lumina's magic. Level 6 for magic. Ah, itch. Itch in the eye. I hope the magic rope works. Oh. Here. Yay! Has a hair in my eye. I was able to get enough to get the armor. Let's get to that item shop. Where is that item shop again? Nope. That ain't it. Uh, over here? Yes! Did I get enough for a battle suit? Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, let me check. Is it 20,000 or 30,000? 30! Damn! Well, let's see, 6,000, is that possible? Oh, just barely. Alright. Let's get that battle suit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gold City's expensive, but it gets you equipped. Well, I don't think I can upgrade my weapons at the moment. Oh, I forgot to buy items again, damn it. Gonna get some of this. Any of that? Nope. Any of that? Nope. Was this cheaper? Yeah, it was cheaper. Uh, no, that will be it, my good, uh, shopkeeper. Part of my angling. Trying to be comfortable in this chair is not always ideal. Um... Well, let's see what the expense is. Okay, which one's ready? Yeah, little short.
Well, that'll have to wait for a teeny bit. So, let's save the game. Alright. Let's stay a night. Get our MP restored. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Leveling up every time. Let's go back to Sage Jacques. Jack, whatever. Whichever it is. Ah, uh, wrong ish area. All right. Well, let's get a traveling. What? Not fair. All righty. Yeah. We'll proceed one way or another. Yeah. Kicking your B behind. Oh, finally got me unconscious. What is with this flower? God damn. Jeez, finally. There it is. And whip time, it's whip time. I mean, when it comes to Twitch, I've just felt a bit more involved in general, and with Twitch I haven't been able to consistently stream, which is nice. And I'm trying to keep YouTube as an archive for those streams, but part of me almost kind of wants to just in general move to Twitch if YouTube is going to sink. I mean, I'd love to get a nice big thriving community on YouTube. But I don't really know how possible that is right now, given YouTube's current algorithm state that it's in. I mean, you dudes coming around and just watching and hanging out, that's some, that's freaking awesome you guys want to spend time with me and just playing hang out. I mean, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to have people to hang out with and... We grow as a community, play the games together, and go from there. I mean, I wasn't really sure about gaming with others at first, since I'm usually a shy guy. But it's like, the more I do these kind of streams, and even do group streams, it feels more okay. It feels more at home. Screw it, I'm going in. Go away, the sage is out! Imagine that. He's not in again. What a coincidence! For your information, Sage Jacques just left for a vi on a visit to the ancient moon palace. It floats eerily in the Sea of Wonders near the border of Kakara Desert. Alright, let's go. Time to go to a very empty palace. I'm sorry, spoiler alert. That palace is freaking empty. And you will see exactly what I mean in a moment.
This was the Moon Palace I was being talked about. Fine, I'll go over here. Look at this starry place, the Sea of Wonders. <laughs> you can't shoot your egg butt bombs at me. Hey. Welcome to Cairns Ferry! Next stop, Moon Palace! And I'd like to keep telling everyone, no you won't find Fusoya, Sailor Moon, or Green Cheese in there. In fact, you won't find anything. Anything at all. Whatever you do, just don't get lost. The boat tends to be unsteady. Don't move around too much. Yeah, even they know. Well, that was some good dialogue. Yeah. Sometimes the chat's a bit more active, but for right now it's pretty chill. Yeah, I don't mind that. But communication will come with time and more people will get involved. Let's get this jelly. This particular jelly named Marma Blue. Oh, come on. There it is. You didn't get any magic off of me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, crap. Eh, screw it, let's go forward. Yep, this is what they meant by there being nothing. Yep, nice and empty. Hey, there we are. But yeah, this is what I meant. It's pretty empty. Luminous magic will work. And here we are. Already at the end. I, Luna the Moon Spirit, have long awaited you within this vast imp and emptiness. So sad this place has grown since, but so sad this place has grown since. But enough, we have no time to reflect for reflection on the past. Take with you my powers. Go, mana is fading. Now we got Luna. Yeah, this is what I mean. This is one of those palaces where. They just dropped a whole lot of stuff here. I personally hope they involve more in the remake, though. And now we're back at the front. Let's go back to... Sharon or Karen? Karen. Yep. Leaving very soon. Come again. Come again. That's a better voice. And what's my status? Ah, we could probably do a few upgrades.
Oh, come on. And away we go. Let's see if we can get some of these weapons upgraded real quick. Oh, what? I'm about to pass out from this heat. Okay, which one's ready? Well, this one. What does that one become? Werebuster. Bow of Hope. Becomes an Elfin Bow. And the Red Cleaver becomes... Cobra Shuttle. That sounds badass. All right. Yep, I see the magic. Uh, 62 to... Eh. Well, let's get you to the axe again. And get your action way up. 78, 78, 86, 86, 78, 83. Oh, time to use the bow again. Now what do these weapons in particular do? Werebusters uses against animals, birds, and beasts. Elfin bow. Raises intelligence and wisdom, but I don't need those exactly for Randy. He's not the magic type. Eh, I'll use that when we get to it. Let's go back to Sage Jack. we go again. Ooh, nice hit. What? There we go. And we get... Mechler won't fit. So, if I remember correctly, we might be going to the Isle of Tasnika after this. Oh, now your magic finally works. Let's move forward. How dare you dodge? How are you? Again with this thing. Yeah. Oh, that was weak. Level 41. It's weapon time. Come on. There it is. No damage, you kidding me? Let's cheat a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
Come on. Go away, the sage is out. Go away, the sage is out. Polly, want a cracker? That's not funny, young man. If you're interested, Sage Jacques left Fia's look for Tasnika. You can find the Republic's castle to the west of here. I think Gemo is going there too. To the west we go. Sorry, my face itched. And to the west we go. Back to the Republic. Remember this music from the, uh, what was it, that desert ship? This is the castle of Tasnika. Well, if it isn't Randy, I hardly recognized you. So, what's going on? I've received reports of an Imperial spy in the castle. He's probably after the king. Hmm, sounds like we should, oop, excuse me. Hmm, sounds like we should look around for a while and try and spot him. Why, yes. I was just about to suggest that myself. You certainly have changed. Keep on your toes, everyone. An Imperial spy won't hesitate to kill you if he's discovered. My friend over there is a bit paranoid over the spy business. There's nothing to worry about. The spy could be anyone. Mew, me, the guy over there, anyone. This is driving me nuts. So serious about this. Between you and me, I think this spy thing is just a ploy by the Empire to try and confuse us. They leak a rumor about a spy in Tasnika and laugh as we kill each other in suspicion and hate. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Well, there's a secret pathway. Where is that secret pathway? There it is. Hey! Alright, let's go back over here. Okay, let's go over here. I'm exploring. The Emperor will stop at nothing, including putting a spy among us. Blast that gritty evil tyrant. Am I glad that Jimo is here to warn us about the spy? Without him, Tasnik would be in big trouble. You don't say. Or perhaps you do say. Oh, gotta go back up. I went in a circle. Hey, just missed him. Let's get back over here. What's over here? It's a bedroom. For the king and queen, I'm sure. The Empire must be planning an all-out war by sending a spy into our troops. This is terrible. The spy rumor is forcing us to live in fear of our very lives right in our own castle. Oh, nothing up there. Who are you? Wait! You must be the Imperial spies! Guards, seize them! Wait a minute, we're here not spies. Jimmy can vouch for- Silence, you spy! Have them taken away to the dungeon at once. Until no one of this, not even Jima. What? Sire, you don't have a dungeon. Don't you remember? How dare you question me! The king would never shout at Jima like that. You can't be the king. 
But that means... Bah, using, this, using the king's body. I could have ruined this pathetic realm of fools. But I've... But I failed. Take this! What have you done? I just sent them out of the castle for a little while. You annoying brats. I think I I'll take control of your bodies and have you kill the king for me. Think again. Yeah, now we have a dark stalker. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have any power level to the bow. Well, there we go. Sir, snap out of it. Oh, where am I? What's happened here? No more Imperial spies will get in here, I swear it. Jimmy used to be the commander of the king's troops. One of the finest warriors of this age. You spelled warriors wrong, Fuso, yeah. His best friend was the legendary hero, Saren, who was also the commander of Pandora's army. When Saren went missing about 15 years ago, Jima stepped down and never fought again. History. I've heard that Admiral Mary has really taken a name for himself these days. What has it that he's sunk two Imperial battleships last week alone with the new ship? Good to hear. We used to have a strong navy, but now our only newly renovated sand ship is in service. The sand ship, that was it. There's something evil about that dark stalker the Empire sent to us as a spy. Yeah, that's kind of the point. The Republic and Pandora have been close to allies for close to 20 years, I believe. I can hardly believe such a thing could happen. The Empire's power as a dark, indeed. I was admittedly worried when I heard some kid had the sword, but I'm not anymore. Well done, brave knight. Allow me to give you this. Ooh, an orb. Yeah. You've learned much these past few weeks, but you can't rest quite yet, my friend. You still have to visit Sage Jacques and pass his test to learn what the nature of true courage is. Yeah, that's what we're kind of trying to do. If the Empire is being this aggressive, it means they believe the fortress is almost theirs. I'm off to try and fight the Empire wherever I can to slow the progress some down some. Go to the lofty mountains and see Sage Jacques before time runs out for us all. Right, I'll do that. Take care, Sir Gemma. You too, Sir Randy. And off he goes. Now, there should be the availability of a particular shot. Oh yeah, here we are. The Empire will never take this castle. I'll join the army myself if necessary. Here in the heart of the castle, this is where all its families of the soldiers live. Hey, kid. Hey, look, everybody. It's the new modern raid. Hey, over here. He's right over here. You slowly get recognition as the Mononite. Now, this way to the secret shop. What'll it be? Oh, that worked out nicely. Oh, good thing I already have all the most powerful stuff. I need any of this? Nope. Need any of this? Nope. Any of this? Nope. This? Nope. Good thing I bought a head. Oop, a little lower. There we go. All right, I think we've had enough fun in Tasnika. Let's get this sword upgraded and move on to the next zone. All right, let's go to the lofty mountains which is to the east oops where are you 
Village, 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 where are you? There you are. And here, no. Over here? Yep, there we go. Well, that was some climb, huh? Yeah. The sword is now the Mazamune. Yes. I'll take that sword back, thank you. Now let's sleep and save real quick. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, let's stay. Yeah, save that game. Leveling up every time. Sage Jack. Get over here so I can kick your fanny. Well, that's a colorful looking sword. Come on. Wake up. There we go. Medical airborne fit? How dare. I forgot to change my action in case I have to change. Oh, yeah. Characters. Well, that's great. Rude. Yeah. Well, my allies will help me. Oh, great. Aha! Only one HP. You cannot best me a fair flower. Or unfair flower. Yeah, kicking butt. Take that! Ho ho ho! Hey, there we go! Slap this bomb B around. Let us hit you, dang it! Really? Really? Spirit is level six, oh yeah. Oh, I'm trying to push him into, or push the thing into Popoy's spinning attack. Yep, unconscious bird. Let's get that whip. Eh, get over here. Kicked your butt. Oh. Now I gotta get the thing. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, come on, that just barely missed. What did I get? What do I get? Oh, medical airborne fit. Get it over here. Get over there. Making our way on over.
Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh! Oh, let me change back to my sword. Hey, get out of here! Not in again? Unbelievable! I'm starting to wonder if Sage Jacques even left this mountain in the first place. I not wait you. Look, no more excuses. We want to see Sage Jacques. Nope. She got a little bit manly. Oh. Sage Jacques. Very well then. Your sageness will see you all now. Before you sit, his gracious reverence. Before you sit, his gracious reverence, Jacques. I'm his humble lifelong disciple, Jack. The master speaks in the old tongue. Allow me to translate. You must undergo a final test. Conquer the ones within, and you'll find courage. Will you attempt the test? Absolutely. Right. Good luck. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I didn't see any complaints about him flapping his mouth like that constantly, despite the fact he wasn't always talking. For those of you that are making a deal about no lip sync in the upcoming game. Oh, damn. Well, that's nice. Ah. Oh god. Hold on, wrong one. Got to <clears throat> heal. Oh, 666, that's nice. Pardon, had to hydrate. Knock those down. Uh oh, it's a metal drop. A shapeshifter. Fail on your spell cast. Oh no. Oi. That stings. Come on. Come on. Uh. There it is. Kicked its butt. Hold on, let me get your level back up. Damn it! I'm getting knocked to sleep. Oh, jeez. This way? No, it's dead end, I think. Yep, dead end. Do you fear? Hmm. 
No fear. Got it. Let's go for Sylphid. Oh, come on. Oh, cheap shot. With your frickin' sleep flower, I swear to God. Why you gotta play it better like that? Whoops, dead end. And shapeshifter disappeared. Let me get that whip. Ooh, excuse me. You cannot get any magic out of Randy, you fool. Ugh. The knockout. Well, I got not one knocked out. Oh, shingle dingle. I need to heal him. Clutch. Got the clutch. Let's go. Onward and upward. Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's do that again. A couple more times, and we're good. Oh, jeez. Well, that was nice and short. Come on and try and get me, shapeshifter. You can't kick me. You cannot beat me. I am of the Mana Crew. The Mana Crew shall best anybody. Because the goodie's better than a baddie. That's what they call goodies. Yeah, Shapeshifter can spawn like almost any other enemy. Not that one. Oh, great. Yeah. It's killing me. Let's move on. Oh, nice. Let's 
So this is thankfully a part that's progressively a challenge of sorts. So at least this area feels like it's part of the completeness. Oh my god. Oh, please don't kill him. That's better. Oh, that was a dead end. Oops. Hey, hey. Joik. Then so shall it begin. Win and you pass the test. No, I fight. We fight ourselves. Ah, oh, lag. Shadow X1 gets whacked. Oh, damn. That had to hurt. You know what? I'll part my sword, too. Screw your counter. Gotcha. Now to get Shadow X3. Yeah. We won! Huh? Where did Jacques vanish off to now? Well done! When you put your thoughts together, nothing on earth can stop you! True courage is the ability to overcome yourself, your darkest fears, and innermost hatreds. I am Jacques. The old man was merely an illusion. Why didn't you help us sooner? Why all the smoke and mirrors? You weren't ready quite yet. Your ears could hear, but not your heart. I waited for you to find your inner strength. And now you are on the new Mononite! Even now, the Emperor seeks to raise the sunken land. He must be stopped at any cost! Atop the purple coral reef, you'll find the tree palace and seed. Below bel lies the Mono Fortress. Something evil seeks the seals. You must obtain the final seed. Hurry! Let us make a quick trip back to the village so we can heal up. So we are getting closer to the end of the game, thanks to how fast the section is. But first, gotta get that chocolate. Gotta restore that chocolate. There we are. Be seeing ya. Yes. All right, let's get on over. Let's go in to the inn. Yeah, let's give it a shot to stay. Cords caught on one another. Of course I'm gonna save.
So, let's get to that coral reef. I forget where exactly it is. That's not it. There it is. Hey, it's the Emperor! What a pleasant surprise! Time for the moment of truth! You're going to like this. As you may know, the ancient continent will surface once I have broken all the palace seals. That was only the was the only palace I could not get into until now. Here the final seal will be broken. Then I should be able to find and raise the mana fortress, ensuring my absolute victory. But that won't work. We've gone and to the other palaces and resealed the seeds. Yes, that's true, but I have troops standing by to break them all again simultaneously. How coincidentally unfair and I don't know. Convenient. A pity you won't be around to see my final triumph. Who wants the job? Sheiks. I owe them one since the Republic. Leave it to me. Since the Republic? You're the Dark Stalker? Indeed. You were fortunate last time, but now you'll taste my true power. Hey, how? Oops, I forgot to read the thing. The contract we signed with the Underworld gives us control to this world. To keep all humans under our control, we must revive the Mana Fortress. Now your time is over. What are you weak to? Well, let's go with Sylphid. Like we always do. Oh god. Ah! Crap! Ah, let me do the thing. Oh, jeez. Let me cast something, dang it. Is it really that hard to do? And here we go. Oh, crap. Did I clutch it? No, nope, didn't work. Let's use that sylphid. So what's new with you, Hal? Level five, all right. Watch over that shadow. Ugh. I hate that at first. Oh, yes. Kicked his butt. Yeah. Way to go! Got Spears Orb. Ooh, good one. Good one. Ah, sure didn't read the thing. 
The stage should be just above us. Let's go. I think Sheik said something about being unable to beat us. The seal is melting. I don't think we'll make it. You have to try. No good. It's too late. My sword isn't responding. I can feel the mana power of the other seeds dropping to zero. They're all dying. Yeah, this is part where you kind of keep losing. Get out of here now. I am Dryad, a tree spirit in the mana elemental of life. You can do nothing here anymore. The seals on the world's palaces have been terminated. The seeds of mana are no more. The evil continent that sleeps beneath this palace is rising. Please, leave now. But what about you? I wasn't able to save this palace. I'll go down with it. What? What will that serve? Idiot, come! Help us save mana! Thanatos sealed my mana magic, my mana sword magic. I really wouldn't be of much help to you now. Don't worry, well, let's go. Yes, hurry, come on. Well, okay. I'll do what I can with the magic I have left. Gain Dryad's powers. Oh no, it's rising now. We need to call Flamey. Run for it! And here you see a little bit of 3D and the rise of the lost continent. That's the view I needed. Randy, as you can see, the sunken continent has now surfaced. The fortress is here! I've discovered Emperor Vandal is working for the underworld. This place is full of monsters. I brought troops in to keep the Empire from taking the Mana Fortress into the air. There's an ancient seed under this Grand Palace. We must get into it and stop them now! But the Mana Seeds, my sword will be nearly useless against the Emperor now. Although your sword isn't fully powered, you're still our best chance in stopping him. Okay, I'll try. We'll fight off the Imperial troops and buy some time. You go catch up with those soldiers. Can I go in the front entrance? We can't get through. We'll have to look for some other way into the fortress. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Let's talk to some of those soldiers. One of the best songs, I swear. Be careful, Sir Randy. Okie dokie. We are kicking some booty. Just gotta casually go down these stairs so we can eventually get to where we need to go. Oh great, I'm poisoned. Soldiers. Hello. Well, that's fair. You know, I wish that Watts was here so we can easily quickly upgrade the spear. Hey, rude. Why you gotta play a brother like that? You know, I just go to Watts anyways and see about getting that spear upgraded.
Nope, not there. What? Still poisoned? Yep. There we go. I'll tell you which one's ready. It's this one. Oh, see, it is changed to a Gigas Lance. 72. Speaking of that mana power draining, you can see... Oop, wrong area. All the mana power is gone. You know, I'm kind of thinking I might call it a night for tonight since I'm feeling kind of tired. Since we're about 70 minutes away. I'll just save real quick and say we'll get into the Mana Fortress in the next stream for when you guys are hanging out with the Jester. The Jester Day Rama, the Jesse D, who was super fly and fancy free. So, let me just press that escape button and get this ready to transition for a little bit of an outro. So those of you who have watched, I want to thank you for watching and being the people who you are and sticking around. So if you want to be up to date at all or just tune in wherever, I have all my social media linked below as well as in that little sliding lower left corner where it just flashes the different name usernames I have for the different social media. Or, if you just want to be constantly up to date with how it's going on and be in contact with me directly, you can go to the Bug Hive Discord server linked above and below the stream. I say above the stream, but it's in the stream itself. It's just it's not clickable, unlike annotations used to be on YouTube. But, you know, if you're on my profile, just go down and go over to the Bug Hive, well, invite. There, you can hang out and be with other buggies, and if you are a subscriber of any form, you will get the appropriate title and the buggy emoji. So let me just quickly show you. Let me just do this thing. Watch right here. It goes like day. Right day. See? Yeah. So, I need to do the thing, which is, well, the outro. So, praise the Spurple. And you buggies are always awesome. I hope you tune in and follow, like, share, subscribe. You know the whole spiel. But if that's not all to say, I think you can always tune in every Monday and Tuesday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This will be the schedule unless my work schedule changes because I work Thursday through Sunday. And while I could stream on my off time... I prefer my off time to be a little bit more relaxing since it's work and you're after your work. You kind of just want to chill or something. I mean, I could probably do something to chill with a certain game, but it wouldn't be like the usual ones that are planned out like Secret of Mana here. So, you guys have been awesome. And I will do the thing where we go and close out. But yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I shall see ya. Much love. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night.